everyone, welcome back to On The Fly. Today we're going to be previewing the Men's Olympic Hockey event. Today's topic will be Team Germany. Uh, so taking a look at Team Germany, obviously a team that has enjoyed recent success. Uh, as in the last Olympics, they did win the silver medal. Uh, and really, I don't see any reason why they cannot repeat this year, uh, going deep into another playoff kind of run. Uh, and they are a team that has sort of the skill set uh, that most teams don't uh, have in their own league, in the, uh, the Deutsche Ex uh, Ice Hockey League. Uh, it is really going to be a major sort of benefactor for Germany, uh, having their own league. Like you look at the teams like Russia, who have the KHL, uh, and then with the North American teams also losing all their NHL players. Uh, it is going to be quite the deal for Germany this year to once again uh, really pull away from their, com their competition. Uh, and I do await to see how they sort of uh, fare in this tournament. I was taking a look at years past, as I previously mentioned, they did win the silver medal uh, in 2018. In 2014, they did not participate, uh, as they did not qualify. And in 2010, they got knocked out in the qualifying round. Uh, so definitely a team uh, that is going to enjoy not having any trailers there. Uh, they do lose a few players like Tim Stutzla and Leon Dreisaitl, to name a few. Uh, but uh, overall, I think uh, it actually is going to help them more than hinder them, uh, especially because of their uh, own sort of league. Uh, it's going to be a big time sort of help uh, towards their cause to win uh, sort of their gold medal. Uh, so we'll look at this year's roster. Uh, we have first time Olympian Tobias Reeder, first time Olympian Stefan Lobel, First time Olympian Nico Kramer, two time Olympian Matthias Plakta, first time Olympian Tom Kunakel, two time Olympian Yasan Alize, two time Olympian Patrick Yeager, first time Olympian Lean Bergman, two time Olympian Dominic Cahoon, two time Olympian Leonard Fertel, first time Olympian Daniel Pieta, two time Olympian David Wolf, two time Olympian Marcel Nobles, first time Olympian Frederick Tiffles, first time Olympian Dominic Bitter Bittner, Two-time Olympian Corbin Ian Holzer, first time Olympian Marco Norwak, first time Olympian Conrad Albuthauser, first time Olympian Fabio Wagner, two-time Olympian Jonas Mueller, first time Olympian Marcel Brandt, two-time Olympian Moritz Mueller, two-time Olympian Danny Aldeberken, first time Olympian Matthias Niederberger, and first time Olympian Felix Bruckman. So this is the team that is going to be representing Team Germany at this year's Olympics. Uh, and you can sort of see how much of uh, the team is comprised of uh, the Dell League as pretty, pretty much three quarters of their team uh, is built up by that league. So uh, in terms of where they're looking at, they're looking at the Dell League especially and they're sort of bringing in from the Swedish Hockey League uh, is sort of their extra uh, guys and some of their better guys are going to come from uh, the Swedish Hockey League and Tobias Reeder for sure. Uh, and you also sort of see the uh, the sort of retired guys from the NHL, the guys who don't really play anymore, uh, but they were a force back in the day. Uh, so I do expect them to do uh, quite well in this tournament as well, uh, as they do have quite a bit of practice leading up, and, and they weren't really affected by COVID as much as some of the North American teams have been. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing how sort of these guys uh, come onto the ice and fair, uh, especially in a tough group uh, with can the Canadians and the US. Uh, we will see how much uh, they really have prepared for this tournament because I can assure you uh, Canada and the U.S. are going to come out with buzzers on, under their bonnets. Uh, so taking a look at the schedule coming up, uh, they're going to start off with Canada on February 10th at 8.10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, then February 12th, 3.40 a.m. against the Chinese. Uh, that will most likely be another blowout. Uh, and then you can sort of play the game of plus minus 14 goals. Uh, and that sort of will be uh, definitely something to watch. Uh, then they'll play the U.S. on February 13th at 8.10 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, of course. And that's another game definitely to pay attention to. Uh, because the three games uh, that you're going to watch for... Canada, U.S., Canada, Germany, U.S., Germany uh, are going to be basically the biggest games of uh, the event. And it is going to be very curious to see uh, where these teams place because uh, there is a very important uh, buy spot for the uh, qualifying round. So you do not want to make it to the qualifying round. Uh, if, you do, if you do not win the group, you're in the qualifying round, which will take place on February 14th and 15th. Uh, then the quarterfinals, February 15th and 16th. Semifinals on the 17th and 18th. Uh, February 19th at 8, 10 a.m. will be the bronze medal game. And then the gold medal game will be February 19th at 11.10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you look at the expectations for Germany, definitely a team that has the potential to go all the way this year. Uh, and they really do rival teams like the Russians, like the Canadians, like the U.S., like Sweden. 
Uh, and I am looking forward to seeing sort of how they fare, uh, especially because they're going to be a team that is going to be slept on uh, mighty heavily. Uh, and they definitely do have a shot at winning. And I think uh, it's definitely a team uh, that is underrated. And I think uh, we saw that last year where they made it all the way to the, to the bronze or the gold medal game rather uh, before being beaten by the Rus by beating by being beaten by Russia. Uh, but I think in the end, uh, they definitely do have a solid shot at the gold medal. Uh, and I do look forward to see how they do in this competition. If you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. If you'd like to drop a like, if you really like to consider subscribing, tell all your friends to comment down below your thoughts on Team Germany. Until next time, see ya. Thank you.